Are you as hilarious as you think you are? Ask your computer. I bet sometime in your past you wrote an email or a text message to a friend and you thought it was perfectly reasonable, but then found out your friend reacted in a really negative way, and I bet some variation of the phrase, I didn't like the tone of what you said came up. Man, if only computers could autocorrect tone the way they do spelling and grammar. Well, now they can. Yup, AI is detecting and correcting tone. How is this even possible? I mean, today we know that computers have trouble with natural language. That's the language you and I use to communicate with one another. And since the dawn of the computer age, there's been a communication barrier between humans and machines. We use programming languages and compilers to turn stuff that we can work with into language that computers can understand. So how is it even possible that a machine would be able to detect whether I'm being sincere or snarky? To answer that, we turn to IBM's Tone Analyzer. This is part of the Watson Developer Cloud. You remember Watson, right? That's the cognitive computer that won on Jeopardy and now is using its computer brains to help out in complex disciplines like medicine. Cognitive computers mimic the way we humans think, and they have self-learning techniques, which means they can actually be taught how to do things like recognize tone. So the Tone Analyzer looks at every single word in a body of text and searches for social, writing, and emotional cues. It tallies all of these up and at the end tells you what the tone of the overall piece happens to be. And the coolest part is they have a demo live on the Tone Analyzer site. So I put it to the test. How? I put the beginning of this video in it. You know, this part. Careful, agreeable, analytical. Watson really gets me. How is this even possible? It's looking at each individual word and tagging it based upon a database of words that Watson has. So the word happy, for example, would be tagged as cheerful. This is pretty useful, but it does have some limitations because if I write, I am not happy, it's still tagging the word happy as cheerful. And if I haven't left enough emotional cues in the rest of my text, it might think I'm as chipper as can be when in reality I'm feeling a bit down in the dumps. But I expect these limitations will eventually fade away as the tone analyzer evolves over time. Right now it's looking at individual words. Maybe tomorrow it'll start looking at the context of those words. Then we're really cooking with gas. Now just imagine a future where the tone analyzer is part of a word processor or an email program or even social media platforms. It could check the tone of your message before you send it and let you know if you're being a total jerk face. On a platform like Facebook, it could even post your mood for you, which would save me a huge amount of time from sorting through all these emojis. Now, you might think that AI detecting tone is really remarkable, or you might think it's just a cute party trick, but either way, it shows the advancement of artificial intelligence. So I have a question for you guys this week. What small but important thing do you think AI should tackle next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you to Toyota for sponsoring our show. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button, join the forward thinking think tank by subscribing to our channel, and then check out these other amazing videos right over here.